Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. It is really early in the morning, but I've got a bunch of stuff to do today, so I'm already up and popping. We are about to run to go get the truck tinted, being that the new glass got replaced yesterday. But first, let's go in here in Jake's EcoBoost. Let's open up this garage. Let's go check out and see what the Mustang looks like. As you guys saw in the last video, we got the demo drag car ready and got it back home and we did a custom paint job on this bad boy. Oh, I'm nervous. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, son. Oh my gosh, look at the overspray on the doors and the windows. Oh my gosh. You can't even see out of the windows. Oh my gosh, should we pull this thing out in the sun and check out what it looks like? Look, from this angle, it actually doesn't look that bad. It looks like a, it looks like a good paint job. Let's pull this baby outside and see what it looks like in the daylight. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Look how bad the overspray is on the windshields. Oh my god, the window you can't even see out of it. Look at that. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. She also didn't want to start there. Oh my gosh. Look at how disgusting this thing is. Oh yeah, there's the air filter, by the way. There is no air filter at all in this car, so that might be why it's having trouble starting. Oh yeah. Let's hop out and check out what this paint job looks like. Oh yeah. It actually doesn't look that bad except for the except for the wheels right there where you missed the you've missed the wheels and you just painted the tires. Dang dude, this thing is ready for some ripping. Look at this thing. Oh yeah, we are definitely taking the nitrous bottle and we are gonna spray this thing on like a 250 shot for at least one run to see how far it goes. Look at this baby, man. Heck yeah. Look at the six logo. Look at this custom paint. Oh my gosh. Look at all the runs right here. We should open up a paint and body shop. That thing looks gorgeous. That is custom paint to the extreme. Look at the look at the wheels. We didn't even get any overspray on the tires. Not even right there at all. That thing is looking gorgeous. I'm gonna leave the demo drag car out in the sun. We're gonna shut the garage. Hopefully with the sunlight will dry the paint a little bit more. I can feel it's a little bit tacky still, but it's definitely getting there. It's almost dry completely. So we're going to leave it out in the sun for the day and let it dry up a little bit more. But for right now, we are going to hop in Allison and we're going to go get this tent replaced from the window that got smashed out. As you guys see, we got this part pretty much almost flattened down perfectly where they try to shove a flathead screwdriver into there to pry the glass out but we got everything pretty much fixed so we just got to get new tent on that window and we will be good to go we got so much stuff planned today you guys are gonna freak out let me get this baby started up and warmed up and we're gonna head over to the tent shop oh my gosh this thing feels so weird this window is tinted very dark this window <laughs> is clear look that's the front that's the back glass. You can't even see it. There you go. It focused. That's the back glass, and this is the front glass. He said it's going to be about two before they can get to it. Before we leave, I've got a little bit of a surprise for you guys. Um, it's in this box. Well, all these boxes right here. And uh, right here, these are the tires for them. I didn't really want to tell you guys about them yet, but today is the only day that we can get them mounted, being that the weekend is tomorrow and nobody is open. So we're going to load all of these things up, and we are going to head out and go get these wheels mounted and balanced. I cannot wait to show you guys what these new wheels look like. I don't know how I'm going to fit all this in the back of the truck. This is going to be cramped. Hopefully I can fit them all in here. Ah! Holy shit. Yeah, these suckers are heavy. Okay, well we have all the new wheels and tires that were supposed to be a secret but are no longer a secret. We're gonna go take these things to a tire place and get these things mounted on the truck. They're gonna put the sensors that are in these wheels into the new wheels and we should be good to go. I am pumped. Alrighty guys, we are pulling out to the tent shop right now. They're gonna pull me in here real quick and get that passenger door glass tinted. There he is. What's going on, man? The hour. This right here, that is legal limit. <laughs> for 10. This is a little bit darker, a little bit darker, a little bit darker, and this is what's on the truck. <laughs> there they go. A few moments later. Oh, I just heard the truck start up. I think they're done. Let's go out here and check. Are they done? Oh, it's coming. Oh, here she comes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that passenger door, baby. That looks way better. There it is, my friend. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Absolutely, I appreciate man. it. All righty. Well, we got the new wheels and tires back here. The window is tinted, so let's go ahead and head on over to the shop. We just got to the tire shop. They're going to get started putting these wheels and tires on there. I am really hoping the stock height I can clear these dang wheels and tires, dude. They are huge. 33 by 12 and a half Toyo Open Countries on a 22 by 12 inch wheel. That is going to be wicked. Negative 44 offset, too. Holy crap. This is going to be crazy. Oh, 
Well, you guys, I'm sure, are wondering what these wheels look like, and uh, here you go. Oh, uh, I've already had a sneak peek at them, but I know you guys haven't seen them yet. Whenever I first opened them up from the box, I like seriously almost gasped for air because they were so incredible. I'm telling you, these are going to look so good on this truck. They are just so gorgeous. And these are the tires that I'm going to be using. These are Toyo Open Countries. These are 33 by 12 and a half on 22, obviously. No cheap setup by any means, but hopefully they will do really good with towing and everything. Ooh, I'm excited. They're getting it lifted up right now to get started taking out the... Uh... This, uh, these wheels are their own bolt pattern. What? Are you sure? Yeah. This bolt pattern right here is 8 on 180. Yeah. You have 8 on 6 and a half. Are you serious? Okay, let me hold it up there. Sir. Yeah, try and show it again. It is for sure the wrong pattern. Not working. That's not good. Gavin's luck. That's great. Well, that is just fantastic. So I found out that these are uh, 8 by 180 and they actually changed the lug pattern of these wheels in 2011. So the Duramaxes previous to 2011 are actually 8 by 165. So whenever the company told me that it was 8 by 180, they were actually assuming that this Duramax was newer than 2011 and the newer ones are the 8 by 180. So um, now I don't know exactly what to do. I guess I'm gonna have to try to return these wheels and uh, get some replacements sent to me in 8 by 165 instead of 8 by 180. Hopefully we can get that done pretty quickly, but usually that's a painful process, so. Oh well though, if it can go wrong, it's gonna go wrong. Thank you again for looking at that. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad we did that before we got them all mounted and everything. Well, now I've got some 2011 and newer Duramax wheels either way. <laughs> That'll save me a lot of room anyways. <laughs> Wheels, unfortunately, did not get to go on the truck, so we're putting them in the garage right now until I can get some replacement wheels in. I wish I would have known that it was a different lug pattern for the years, but I called the shop and asked them what lug pattern that my truck was. They asked what it was, so I told them it was a 2500 Sierra. And then it turns out that certain years have different lug patterns, and they gave me the wrong lug pattern. So now I've ordered the wrong wheels, and now I'm stuck with them. Alrighty, well the wheels are dropped off. I've got a few more things to do and then we're gonna head out and get the trailer and everything loaded up to go to Cleveland Cars tomorrow. Okay, so we are about to go pick up a belt for the Mustang being that I told you guys that I wanted to run the new Mustang, well the, the second, the original Mustang. We bought a second Mustang, so I keep getting all the Mustangs confused, but we're trying to go run the S550 at the track this weekend, but the only problem is that the belts keep throwing off at the 69 millimeter pulley that we have because there's a lot of issues with the 69 millimeter pulleys. For some reason, on a lot of these blowers, they just don't want to hold on. So anyways, I'm going to go with a little bit bigger pulley, which is less boost, less power, but at least it will hold a belt and allow me to do some racing while we're at this event. And that bigger pulley obviously requires a bigger belt. So I ordered that bigger belt through Jags. I even paid for two day shipping and everything. So that way we would have it in and ready to get installed on the Mustang before we left to go to this event and it did not come in. So now I'm in like a state of panic. We are two hours until we leave and I'm trying to run to O'Reilly's real quick to see if they have one. O'Reilly said that they have a belt that possibly will work. Um, it's not the belt that I ordered, so it's not gonna be completely devoted purpose for a supercharger, but uh, we might be able to get by and make that work for now. I know with a 72 millimeter pulley, which is a little bit bigger again, it's, it should not blow belts off. So we should be able to get at least some decent racing in. It's not gonna be nearly as fast as what it normally will be, but at least we're gonna be able to take it to clear the cars, get some runs in with the S550 because everybody is so excited to see that car out there. So we're gonna give them what they came for. After Cletus's cars though, that is gonna be the last time that that car races on the setup that it's currently on. We're gonna be taking it all the way to Daytona Beach to VMP and we're gonna be changing up a lot of things very quickly and a lot of things are coming for that car. So buckle up kiddos because we're going for a ride. All right guys, we are pulling up to O'Reilly's right now. I'm gonna run inside and go check on this belt pick it up and I will be right back. <laughs> what the hell? Bro, they had one in stock, one. One belt and I even asked them if they had all of the alternates because I wanted to get another one just in case this one broke. They had nothing. This was the only one in stock and they said they don't even normally carry this. Somebody ordered it and happened to not need it and left it in the store. Let's go home and get this thing put on the car. 
I'm telling you, I'm not stopping. This car is going to race at least once. We really don't even need to video the installation of the belt because they've seen it about 12 times in the past two weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Alrighty guys, we are finishing up the belt swap and the pulley swap for the supercharger right now. If you see here, we've got a 72 millimeter pulley that I actually strapped on here instead of the 69 as normal. So it's gonna be running a little bit less boost, a little bit less power, but at least the car will be able to race and have a lot of fun in that uh, plays the car. So we got all of that finished up. Right now I'm just reattaching all the reservoirs and everything that go onto the front of the car. After that, we can start this thing up and make sure that everything is good. I'm not going to test it out though. If the belt is going to blow off, or rather it blow off to going down the racetrack and collision cars. I'm just going to literally make sure that this thing cranks over and doesn't have any issues. Once it cranks up and starts up, we're going to load this thing up on the trailer and it's going to Houston either way. So we're going to figure out what happens on the racetrack. It's either going to go fast or it's not going to go far. So one way or the other, we're going to figure it out. Anyways, though, everything is reattached and reinstalled the proper way as, as much as I can see it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and give this thing a start up one more time. Make sure that all the belts are connected and turning properly. Everything should be back up and ready to go. So after we do that, we're going to get started on finally loading this baby up in the trailer that is way down there. <laughs> the battery is almost dead. <laughs> That looks like it's gonna work. I just replaced this idler right here with a VMP 90 millimeter idler, so that is all hooked up properly. Everything is ready to go, it looks like. Oh my gosh, I am excited. I have not had this car up and running in a while. I'm fairly certain that it will not blow off with that 72 millimeter belt. It will be a little bit slower, like I said, but at least this thing will be able to race. I am so, so pumped. These welds never get old. I'm so glad that I went with these welds and actually pulled the trigger on them. I've always wanted them, but never had the money for them. And man, am I glad I finally got to get some. Alrighty, well, we are good to go and get ready to start loading this car up. Well, we got the Mustang loaded up. It is a tight fit. There's about three inches on this side, maybe an inch and a half to two inches on this side, but it fits. Oh yeah, that looks great in there. Check that out. This is gonna be interesting. I've never strapped a car mold trailer before. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we've got the trailer loaded up. We've got a bunch of merch. We've got E85. The car is in here and strapped down now. Up here in the front, we've got big, big bucket of merch. And again, the car is cross strapped up here. So we are good to go. I think we've got everything in the cabinets ready. This is gonna be a fun weekend. This is the first time that I've done anything like this and hauled this much stuff, especially uh, my own car in a trailer. So this is gonna be interesting for sure. Oh, this thing's heavy. Alrighty, let's go. We don't really have a method of spraying this yet, but what we're gonna plan on probably doing, we're gonna hook up a direct line right here into the intake of the car, and we're gonna hopefully get Cletus to sit right here as I drive, and um, once we're getting ready to go to the finish, we're gonna get him to just, just crack the bottle. We're gonna direct inject nitrous into the car. What happens when you do that, I don't know, but we're gonna find out. How do you uh, limit how much? <laughs> oh, there's no limit. There's no limit. <laughs> We're just gonna, just like, <laughs> if you put all the nitrous in one spray, what happens? We'll find out. That's a good, good, good test question right there. Can't wait, bro. This is gonna be a blast. Anyways, guys, we've got the car ready to go. We've got the trailer loaded up. Jake's gonna drive the car halfway to Houston, so that way we can pick it up. There's a friend of ours gonna meet us to put this thing on a trailer. Being that uh, this car is not registered, does not have a title, does not have any insurance, does not have anything, but. We're gonna, we're gonna get it there. <laughs> Here you are, Jake. The keys right. to the magical steed over there. Nick, y'all good luck. Be careful in the, um, the vehicle. Okay, um, call Harry, find out where he's at and where he's meeting us at to get that on a trailer as soon as possible. Yeah, just call Harry, try to, yeah, just do that. We're gonna, we need that on a trailer though. Alrighty, let's go.